Hey everybody! So we are working on the boat today and I thought I'd take a quick minute and talk to you about where we found our boat and where you can find boats. We've had a lot of questions about how to find budget blue water boats and so that's Todd working on the boat. Sorry. <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit about where to look, um, how to talk to people, and hopefully that will help you find the boat that you're looking for. Here's the thing. For us, if we had just been a couple and we were looking for something in the 35 to 40 foot range, that wouldn't have been so hard to find. For us, what was hard to find was a boat that would fit a family of six that was blue water, that was on a budget. So it's a challenge, but they're out there. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about where we looked and where we ultimately found our boat. So let's do this. that I looked was yachtworld.com and that has lots and lots of boats for sale it's a good place to start looking to see what you like um, the pictures show you the interiors and to get an idea of what the prices are going for most of those boats are going to be probably if you're looking for a budget blue water boat you might not find it on there it's gonna depend you can there are deals to be had um, but at first glance, those are going to be a little bit out of your budget. The second place that you can look that I found lots of interesting boats was sailboatlistings.com. And this has, the biggest challenge with this is that they are not always current. But the reality is if you're looking for a boat for a family that's on a budget, that's blue water, you're going to just have to deep dive and look and look and look and talk to lots of people so the reality is going through these and finding boats that haven't sold is actually a good thing um, because you can <laughs> going through all of these ads and listings gives you an idea. Often you'll see that the price has been dropped. Um, those listings that have not sold over a long period of time are open to negotiation for prices versus someone who has just listed their boat on Yacht World. They're not going to be as likely to um, be flexible on those prices. So another website that isn't necessarily a place to find a boat for sale but is really, really good at giving you information about boats is sailboatdata.com. So that has layouts, it's going to tell you how all the masts are it's going to give you all kinds of details about the boat the different layouts that have um, that are options on your boat that's a really great resource so another really fantastic place to look is on Facebook so Facebook has a lot of sailing groups that have boats that get listed that's actually where we found our boat was in a sailing group on Facebook, um, sailboats for sale, blue water sailboats for sale, like search all those terms and you're going to find like a dozen of them. And it actually popped up in several of those, the people who were selling our boat listed it there. When I did a deep dive, um, I actually did find a listing for them on Craigslist in the Corpus Christi area. I actually found three of them with different prices, which also gives you an information about um, pricing and negotiation and how long the boats have been for sale. So don't discount Craigslist. Craigslist has lots of things for sale. They tend to be people who are wanting to get rid of it quickly, also tend to be lower prices. Um, the thing that I did on Craigslist is that I went by location. So I got out Google Maps and I looked at different areas along the coastlines that I thought might have sailboats and I Craigslisted. Craig <laughs> I looked at each of those place locations 
for Craigslist and searched sailboats and I just kept going back and going back. That's going to be one of the keys is like every day I was looking in all of these places for boats. So if you're just doing it once a week, you can miss a good deal. Um, you're, you're just, your chances of finding something get quicker and quicker the more you're looking. Telling everybody that you're looking for a sailboat because then you're gonna have friends that are like, hey, my friend is selling a boat. I just had this conversation with a friend um, that in one of the groups that I'm part of, I saw somebody pop up and say that they were getting ready to sell their boat and I was able to send a friend to that person. Whether or not that turns out to be the best boat for them, who knows? But that's the kind of thing that happens when you start telling people that you're looking for a sailboat. So you've got Craigslist, Yacht World, SailboatListings.com, Facebook, and word of mouth. Those are really um, the easiest places to just start looking. But then there is one more place that's really interesting, and that is boat yards. So this was something that Todd and I knew about, but weren't sure how to do. So then we were in our boat yard and had a friend that was looking for a boat. And I said, hey, there's a bunch of boats in our yard that look like they're kind of abandoned. And this is the key is that people put boats in boat yards, especially if it's a do it yourself boat yard. And then they run out of steam and they run out of money and they stop paying their bill and they walk away from their boat. That leaves a boat that's been abandoned in the boat yard. So what I did was I identified a couple of boats that looked interesting that um, I hadn't seen anybody on in the couple of months that we've been here. And I went over to the, to the office and I said, hey, I'm just curious about these boats, what's going on with them. And it turns out there's like five abandoned boats in our boat yard. And so she gave me whatever information that she had on the boats. She gave me contact information for them. Um, and the reality is that my boatyard just started uh, repossession on all of these boats and will be selling them. So boatyards are an interesting way if you're looking for a project to find a really good deal on a boat. My friend came and looked at a couple of these boats and she could have walked away with um, boats for under $15,000 that were blue water boats that were in the 46 foot range um, that could have fit her family. They needed work. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for something you don't have to do any work on? Budget is going to have to be higher. If you're willing to do some project, looking at boat yards is a viable alternative. If this was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have another place to look for boats, post it in the comments. Or if you found your boat in one of these places or another place, put it in the comments so other people can find their dream boat. Please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified of when we put out another video. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.